Um, so when we actually added the registration form, uh, the, reg the register function some videos ago, I guess, um, as you can see, we called a save method on a user service and we gave this a couple of roles, the, the role of user and the role of actuator. While the, we also have an admin role that we did create at the launch of the blog app, as you can see, there is this role admin. So we have a role distinction. What we will be, what we want to do is actually for the admin to be able to uh, post something uh, to create a new post while the users won't be able to do so and they will be restricted to uh, creating new comments. So the first thing we want to do, uh, we will implement the comments first. So we want to be able to click on a single post and get the, the, um, a page that renders that very post. So uh, I think I already did uh, the, um, a post page. So it, it's this one. Oh, no, actually, this is a delete post. Uh, I didn't create a map for the single post. So we'll do this real quick. We'll do get mapping. And uh, the value is going to be uh, post. Uh, let's make it so that it's easily understandable. Uh, so I'm going to do like posts and get the ID. So it's going to return a public post. Uh, it's going to return a post and we're going to call this get post by ID. And we're going to return post service get post and pass the ID of the post. So uh, and enter the path variable of an int ID. Uh, let's create this method real quick. Uh, and we're going to do post repo. Find 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 one and pass the ID itself. Uh, since it was actually a long, I'm gonna real quick change this to long, save it up, and get post is, we're gonna change this to long. Okay, and we should be all set. Let's check out if this works in Postman. I will have to refresh the server first. So, if we go on Postman and get the posts, we'll get all the posts. If we pass a specific ID, like 129, and send it, we'll have an ambiguous handler methods HTTP path, uh, public Java util list, blog controller posts by user, and uh, get post by ID. So maybe you have a double mapping or something like that. Let me check real quick. What is the problem? Oh, there, there it is. So we have this two that are referring to uh, the same thing. So um, to change this, since this is the new one, uh, we're going to do posts uh, by ID. Now I don't like that. Posts uh, I don't know. Let's make it posts. Ugh, get post. Uh, actually, yeah, the post. I don't know, something like that. Could work. I don't like it too much, but nothing comes to mind right now, so. Uh, change this to depost. This is awful, by the way. And send it, and as you can see, we are getting the single post that is created by an admin, and so on. So this is working fine. On the home controller, we're gonna go and do a get mapping to a value of uh, 
post uh yeah post id is fine this time so with single post and public it's going to return a string uh post uh by id i don't know i'm lacking some creativity this evening so what we are going to do with this it's just gonna return uh actually let's call this single post and it's gonna return a post page that we are just gonna create right here so create oops a new html file called post html we want to add this to git i'm gonna just paste the code from the index to make this a little quicker and we're gonna pass uh maybe we can pass a single a post i don't know maybe the name of the article we'll have to figure it out later so we have this 12 columns right here uh, we had this, con this navig the navigation bar is fine. Also, the 12 columns is fine. We have my blog, which is still fine, I guess. But here we do not need a V4 anymore. It's just post title created by and post body. But the single post, it, before it referred to posts in post but as of right now it's gonna be kind of different because it's gonna be a single post that is gonna be uh, an object but as of right now it's an empty one so and uh, it's gonna have a post title created by and a post body we're gonna get do a get requests to uh, depost and pass the ID that we are going to attach. So the ID itself is the one that we are uh, actually is the ID of the post that the user actually clicked on. Okay. The thing we're gonna do is go on that index.html file at a ref to the post title and we're gonna add a computed property which is basically we're gonna call a method such as uh, I don't know get link maybe and we're gonna do get link I'm gonna return slash d uh, slash post plus uh, we're gonna have to get the post itself so I'm gonna pass the post here and get the ID Let's see if this works. As you can see, if I click uh, on here, I go on post 129. And here, post 161. So this is working as expected. So if you check that out, going on uh, a post actually shows absolutely nothing. And we will check out why this happens. So as of right now, we have a few content on the on a page so let's see if this is actually working and it is because as you can see a post is actually rendered so the title is being passed but it seems like the, um, the page itself post title post creator username is not really working so one reason could be that this post right here this get request is failing or um, the response is not Correct, being correctly processed. To check this out, go and inspect. And if you check the console, you can see that we have actually a few problems. 
which is cannot read property username of undefined and a few stuff like that. Uh, but if we go and network and refresh the page once again, we can see that we are not actually making the request itself to depost. So this is the we we have to try and understand why, and. Uh, this is due to the fact that ID is not really defined right now. So we have to get the ID from the URL itself. So since on the URL we have this ID right up here, we should be able to fetch it straight up from our URL. To do that, we can do something like bar location is equal to window location get the ref and split it on the um, separator right here the name location is actually incorrect so I'm gonna use split it instead since location is already defined in JavaScript itself for the page so call it split it and instead of ID right here we're gonna do split it and we're going to get the element which is at the length minus one. So we always want to get the last element. We refresh the server. Let's see if this works. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. The last thing we call this post, not posts. So we're going to have to rename this to post to make this work. Refresh the server. So let's see if this works. And indeed, we get my blog second post by admin. So let's try again. Going home. If we get my first semi series blog post, click on it, we have my first semi series blog post. So down here, we now want to add comments. But uh, I think we're going to go and do that in the next video. Um, in between the two videos, I'm going to add a form and a submit button, and we'll do the back end together, okay? So uh, I'll see you soon enough on the next video. Thanks for watching. So, between the last video and this one, I implemented a simple registration form and uh, I pushed already the code to GitHub. You should be able to implement this really easily. It's nothing complicated and I do not want to focus on that too much in this um, series. Anyway, I'm going to explain it real quick. Create a new register HTML page and enter the form. And we will have the data for each of the forms, um, uh, for each of the inputs. So input username, we'll have username, input password, a password, password confirm, we'll have a password confirm. So it's the really same thing that we, um, that we already did with um, the login. We attach a few parameters. Uh, actually, this is unneeded because I passed the whole JSON object. So just pass the, just do a post method to the URL register and attach the data as is. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing too much to it. Uh, on the um, login component, I also added um, a link to the registration form and also on the user controller I, um, on the home, home controller, I added get mapping to slash registration and returns the page register. So I already pushed, uh, on, I pushed this comment on GitHub. It's called uh, add registration form. So you can check the code for this very specific thing uh, on GitHub.